In today's video, I'm gonna make my sloppy feeling shifter feel somewhat like this. When I first got my Cayman S a couple of months ago, I realized how amazing the shifter in that car is. And it made me also realize how spongy and rubbery my uh, M3 shifter is. But luckily, there's an easy solution and it comes in the form of this polyurethane bushing uh, that replaces the OEM rubber bushing. To do so, we have to crawl under the car and uh, undo a couple of shields and bolts and whatnot. I'm gonna walk you through the procedure, but apparently you should improve the shifting feel. So let's see how that goes. As you can see behind me, the car is sitting on my awesome quick jack, courtesy of Keys Motorsports. And obviously, well not obviously, not many people do that, but every time I jack up my car, just in case something happens, I also support it uh, in addition to my quick jack with, with a little uh, tripod stand. Uh, fantastic uh, stands. If you want to get them, I'm going to leave them for you. Uh, this is not moving anywhere, but it's better to be safe than sorry, especially when I'm climbing under the car. Before we get under the car, you want to get yourself a point of reference of where the actual bushing might be. So if this is your shifter, it should be somewhere under side of the shifter. So what I did was I slid my jack stand right over there. So somewhere in that area, the actual bushing will be located. And from the same point of view, I will take you with me so you know exactly where it is. Look, I am taking you with me here. And as we move under the car, I am shifting the camera pointing up. So if this is right over here, this is your set of down pipes. I actually have a single mid pipe. So the mid pipe comes here, it sort of goes here and it bends. Right in the area where it bends, I have a big void. This is, you see there's a, little, there's a little M logo here. Underneath, you can take a peek, we have a drive shaft there. So the bushing is somewhere underneath the drive shaft. So what we have to do is we have to take out this heat shield, and luckily it comes in uh, in little pieces here. Uh, after we take it out, we can it, wiggle it around the, uh, the mid pipe, and uh, this will give us access to get to the bushing. It is gonna be hard to see or show this, but essentially you just have to remove a couple of these 10 millimeter uh, nuts holding the heat shield in place, and hopefully we can wiggle it out. Okay, so once again, so you have a point of reference. This is the front of the car, your down pipes here. We've removed uh, some 10 millimeter nuts here. And the only thing that's missing to be removed is this 13 millimeter. I actually ended up having to remove this whole thing uh, to gain access that allows me to wiggle the heat shield out. Otherwise, this black cover is in the way and I just cannot simply remove this turkey pan. I cannot seem to be able to wiggle this heat shield out. I think it's my bigger mid pipe, uh, but this is Tommy L Garage, we have a solution. I'm going to remove the exhaust brace, which will then allow me to slide this whole section out and uh, just give me, will give me enough access to that bushing. Okay, and just like that, I'm gonna leave one in place so I can simply just swivel it out of the way. Because of the fact that we did that, check this out. The heat shield now can slide just a bit over. So, okay, so we slid the heat shield which then, check this out, this is a live view, which then gains us access to here. This is it, this is where the bushing is. So you see where the drive shaft, you've got the beautiful carbon fiber drive shaft. Uh, so this is the carbon fiber drive shaft where it sort of converts from this, I think steel, where the black converts to carbon fiber, this is where the bushing is. So it's just as simple as removing the old one and replacing it with the new one. Removing it requires this E10 socket with a swivel uh, because it's kind of hard to get in there. The drive shaft is in the way. It's just easier with a little tiny swivel. Look how easy it is. See? This is the E30 and there's one on the other side. 
and just like on the other side this is it so now this is going to be kind of hard to show on camera but essentially what we do is we slide it out from the tip see it just slides out there's nothing holding it see it slides out and it comes right out and I I'm going to keep it like this because that's how it came out and then I'm going to put the new one in place. So you see, this is the old one and this is the new one. Uh, definitely a lot of play here. I mean, this is, if you touch the uh, the old one, the old one is all rubber. It's just, it's rubber. It's not even a thick uh, sort of hard rubber that you get with, let's say, suspension bushings. This is just a very flimsy, thin rubber. I mean, look at it. This is a rubbery feel and I believe this is what gives this shifter a rubbery feel so out with the old and in with the new which is this solid polyurethane uh, uh, bushing now before we go to the next steps uh, the company doesn't provide any schmear but I'm going to put some high temperature uh, grease here just to make sure there's no squeaking so high temperature grease is in uh, and we just go ahead and slide it back in place and install it on the tip. Again, I cannot show it to you because it is sitting above the drive shaft, but you kind of get the idea. I have to slide it back in place now. Yikes. All right. I have to push it in so it aligns with the holes. It seems to align. Now, it's just as easy as put everything back in place. So, check this out. Put this guy here. Okay, it is tightened on both sides. Obviously, before we put everything back together, we're gonna go inside the car and test it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. My hands are clean. Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. So a huge portion of the rubbery feel has disappeared and it definitely, absolutely feels more direct. It sort of clicks into place. I hope you can hear it. Click, click. Wow, what a difference. Now, is it as good as the Porsche? Not yet. I think we have to continue uh, with these upgrades, but just doing this, wow, gives you such an improvement in the way you shift. So, so cool. And I feel like the sloppiness is eliminated. There's no sort of, not much play. It sort of stays very stiffly in place. And when you put it in gear, I mean, listen to it. Kind of just falls in. Click. Click click everything goes in all the gears go in wow super super cool now the last thing is to put everything back together and obviously putting it back together is the reversal of removing everything but i'm not going to bore you with this i'm going to use the magic of editing check this out everything is cleaned out everything is nicely tightened and we are good to go this little bushing this little rubber bushing this flimsy see boop Boo, 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 boo. See how flimsy it is? It is. This flimsy rubber bushing can cause or will cause or does cause your BMW shifter to feel very, very rubbery. With the new one, it feels a lot better. Not, uh, not exactly on this level, but it's going to get me there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start chasing uh, this sort of solution to see how close we can get to the feel of the Porsche with some transmission mounts and bushing upgrades. We did that. There's a couple of uh, other things I want to try, including potentially a short shifter kit, which apparently is a night and day difference. So that's going to be coming up sometime soon. In the meantime, let me know what you thought of this modification. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye. Fast forward quickly to the next day. Let's see if this thing really made a difference. All right, putting it in first gear definitely feels 
a lot more precise. So it kind of... Oh, it kind of just clicks into place. Wow. Now, don't expect that this will completely eliminate the rubbery feel because it won't. You've got bushings here, you've got other sets of bushings. Look at me pretending to know what I'm talking about. But this will at least help you get to uh, sort of the next, oh, we're gonna go this way. It's gonna help you get to the next level uh, when it comes to shifting. If you don't wanna go with a short shifter, uh, which I don't know if I, uh, if at this point I want to, to be honest with you. This is, this is pretty fantastic. Wow, definitely feels a lot more notchy. Definitely. Whoa, love it. Look at me making sharp maneuvers here. Ah, love this thing. Do it. 